good morning good afternoon good day i'm not sure when you're watching this video but saying hello from beautiful st thomas u.s virgin islands the home of amali gardens the original home um, but we're in st thomas today actually for a few days now and we're doing our first video from charlotte amali well this isn't charlotte amali this is the capital of st thomas that's the capital of st thomas but we're actually in um smith bay I'm here at my parents' home, and today we're doing a video because we're gonna um, kind of redo one of my parents' growing areas that kind of uh, has gotten beat up over time. So I'm just taking a quick picture here out here of um, the view from my parents' home. That's on um, beautiful St. John in the distance. Um, it's a beautiful day. Well, not as sunny, not as beautiful as it normally is. It's kind of overcast. They've been getting a lot of rain over the past 24 hours, so. Um, just want to kind of show you um, the area. It's um, this is my parents' yard down here, and and all the greenery that that grows here. That's a that's some mango trees. You can see mangoes on the tree, and uh, we have there. Uh, that's a cashew tree right there. The banana banana tree is another mango tree right here, and um, it's uh, it's just kind of stuff tropical dreams are made of and um, I'm out here on my parents porch if I catch a, a glimpse of an iguana I think you can see an iguana moving over there in the bushes um, and I'll, I'll catch a glimpse of an uh, uh, we have tons of iguanas around here so that's one of the prohibitions of growing here oh there's some there, there are a bunch of iguanas right there on that mango tree how perfect I know you can see those buggers between the wild chickens and the iguanas, it's tough to grow crops here, but we're gonna figure out a way. Um, and down here we have some more. We have an avocado tree right there, and uh, more banana trees, some papaya trees. There's a huge coconut tree right here. Uh, coconuts and papaya. And um, over there is um, where my dad has his pineapple patch. But uh, it hasn't been doing well this year because like, uh, like I see, you, you can see it's not been raining a whole lot. The place is somewhat um, not as green as it typically is, but I don't know. Maybe I, um, with luck, I brought some rain, so it's um, been doing well. I, can, I don't know if you can see that pineapple right down. Where is that pineapple? Right there. Yep. But um, I'm going to take you back now and show you the, um, the area that we're going to be doing the garden, the garden in. And I just wanted to share this quick um, intro to what we're going to be doing on this version, this episode of Amali Gardens. So I just wanted to show you um, what's been going on back here. Uh, we kind of got a slow start on the videoing because we got started on the work before I started taking video. But um, we're going to get this area cleaned up. This is um, a lot of stuff that we get, they have back here. Um, but we started cutting back the pigeon peas tree already to get it out of the way. That's a huge, a big pigeon peas tree with lots of pigeon peas on it. But we're going to have to cut that back. Or, uh, probably going to cut it down because uh, the peas that are coming off of it are not as desirable. So we're going to... But um, we have some cool plants in here. We have um, some Jamaican callaloo and stuff in here. And some... Uh, this is um, sorrel. Uh, we have some um, panadol there. And um, we're going to get this area all fixed up and... And I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. And um, we're gonna be—we're really excited about this this quick project we're gonna do today. All right. A quick update on the progress that we've made here um, with this garden renovation restoration area. You saw what it looked like at the beginning, or shortly after we started. And uh, you'll probably see pictures. But um, this is where we've gotten to so far. We've kind of cleared it out and um, kind of enriching the soil with some <laughs> other soil. And um, oh, this is um, oh, we're going to be building this wall up uh, just with some stones and um, getting it up to a height so that we can build this into two tiers. There'll be a tier like right here, and then it'll step up, and then we'll do another tier. So that will be good. And um, today we. Added, we did these pots. Well, we filled this tower, and then we um, added new soil to these pots. 
And these are the plants that we pulled out, some peppers and some onions that we're going to be putting back in these pots and um, get everything going. So just wanted to do a quick video update on the progress we've made. And um, out of all the dirt, um, one of the things I've been telling my parents is to pull as much rocks out of the dirt as possible. So we got a whole bucket of rocks there and, and then these big rocks. So um, making some progress. So I just wanted to do that update and let you see what progress we've made in the past 24 hours. So uh, we'll keep uh, going and um, we'll see how it looks at the end. Thanks. Well, I just wanted to show an update. We've been making steady and uh, great progress on this um, small backyard area garden creation. Um, the design has morphed significantly from what we originally planned. We didn't plan to build the boxes. We actually just planned to build into the earth with maybe a two by six to separate the upper and lower section. But we had the material, so we just decided to go ahead and um, build this tiered system. Actually, it was supposed to be two tiers, and it ended up being three tiers. So my dad is a mason, so of course he insisted on in, um, having some masonry components in the garden. So uh, we did buy these blocks this morning and um he put these down to create this first tier so this is one tier two tier and then three tier so um in all i know there's over maybe 40 square feet of garden area and this little area here is going to be um we're going to put some stones there and it's going to be like a path that you can walk up and and get access to um the garden back portion um and of course there's going to be a, a a little section right here to walk up as well and um, it's coming along really good. Really, really um, excited. We're going to um, build the enclosure to protect it from the iguanas. If I can see any iguana, I'll show you what the menaces that we um, have to deal with. But that's the, the chicken wire that we got yesterday. And um, that's the PVC pipe that we're going to be using. And um, over here we have um, our... PVC fittings that we're going to be using. So yep, yeah, that's that's where we are, and it's coming along great. Um, I think we should be done with this by tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the chance to actually put plants in there. Actually, we did go and uh, we found somewhere we could get manure. It's, it's horse manure, but um, that's what's right there, and it's a mixture of the original soil um, manure and some garden soil that might parents had here in uh, some bags so um, pretty excited about what that's going to do and we have some mulch that we're going to be also getting from the neighbor next door and uh, we'll see how that goes hello good morning good morning um, this is our last day here in St. Thomas and um, able to show what um, we've accomplished um, and you'll see the video from somewhere close to the beginning of the work we started here and this is the end result of the project that we worked on we got these pots redone for my parents uh, so um, I put back the pepper plants that they had in there so they're they're still in pretty bad shape so we're gonna see if those pepper plants bounce back I mixed in the onions that were in there initially so uh, one of the plants looks like it's kind of perking up so if not we'll just they'll, they'll just pull those out and um and some new pots. So I set up their tower and they're, they have growing in the tower now. They have basil, they have cilantro, catnip, um, chives, and um, they call this puzzle. Um, uh, so um, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. My dad will send pictures as things grow and um, yeah. But this is the garden. Um, it's all mulched have mulch in there and have a couple onions going in there and a couple of small peppers. It's not looking that great plant-wise, but we're really pleased with the way that um, the terraced um, beds have come out and the uh, enclosure that we built to, um, we built the, the, the enclosures to keep these little buggers out of our garden from eating it up. Those little, those iguanas right there, they wreak havoc on your garden here in, in St. Thomas. So that's what this 
was built for um, so that they can grow um, and there I think they have about four feet clear uh, on the tallest section so they can grow some pretty tall plants in there and um, on whatever else they can grow in there and, and it'll be protected uh, there's no real way for for them to get in so just wanted to show you guys this and um, let you see that Amali Gardens is <laughs> doing gardens in Charlotte Amali St. Thomas all right so this is the last of um, portion of this video and um, thanks for watching thanks for watching how we transform what was here before into what it is now thanks and um, have a good one